Hey guys, welcome to In the Game Room with Alan. I am back in the game room. It's been a little while since I've been out here. I've been at some conventions and things like that. So it's been a while since I've actually come to you directly from the game room. I'm here tonight to talk to you about a product, do a little product review. Um, I'm gonna tell you up front right away that this is a product that I manufacture and sell. So I'm gonna be a little bit biased, but I, I hope you believe me when I say even if I didn't make this product, I'd still be telling you about it and I'd still be telling you how cool it is because I really, really believe in this product and I'm actually using this quite a bit. This is the painting station from Gamecraft Miniatures. What you're looking at here is, uh, let me zoom in a little bit, you're actually looking at two things. The painting station itself and then the optional drawer kit that's underneath it that has two drawers. Uh, everything from the white surface here up is the stock paint station, the way you get it. And then this bit on the bottom is uh, a couple of drawers to put some tools and things in. That's an optional piece that you buy separate. I have them connected together, glued as one unit here, which is the way you would probably do it. But what this here is, uh, is a painting station that you can put down on the bench in front of you, wherever you're working, with the paints you need, the brushes you need, and the project you're working on, and then sit there and work on it. And then if you want to then go into your living room and watch some TV, or go to your dining room table, or your desk, or wherever, just pick this up, take it with you, the entire project goes with you, all set up and ready to go. It's not like taking paints and putting them in a box and putting brushes in a box, taking them somewhere else and unpacking them. Everything goes with you the way it's set up and ready to go. And like I said, I'm using this quite a bit. Um, a week or so ago, I was sitting at the workbench in my shop painting some uh, vehicles and then the uh, convention in Los Angeles came along. I just grabbed this thing literally the way it is, set it down on the floor, front seat of my car on the floor, drove to the convention. After I unpacked everything and got set up, I took this thing out, set it on the table in front of me, and without a second's delay, just went right back to work where I was before. I keep carrying it between the shop and the game room and my office and my house and conventions all over the place. So I'm really, really excited about this product. And it's one of the products that I've made that I use myself. And I've actually found that it's very, very useful. Um, I was selling these at the convention in Los Angeles and sold quite a few of them. People really loved them. So it's a really good product. I really believe in it. And that's why I'm here showing it to you. Not just because I make it and I sell it, because I just think it's a really cool project for, uh, product, I'm sorry, for, uh, for miniatures war gamers that work on miniatures and paint things. So. so this is the way the product is delivered. It's flat packed, shrink wrapped, and you just punch out the parts and put them together. It takes about five minutes to put one of these together. Um, I did a video tutorial showing how they go together and it was actually the first one I ever put together so I didn't have a lot of practice or anything and I got it together in about four and a half minutes and no edits just straight through one shot. Um, there's three different models available. This one here has two rows of 26 millimeter diameter holes which fit the uh, Vallejo dropper style bottles. Um, there's another one that has 34 millimeter holes and that fits the uh, GW Citadel bottles as well as the Model Master acrylics and Model Master enamels. And then there's a third one available that has one row of each. So you, if you have different paints, you can have one row of Vallejos and one row, row of uh, GW Citadel Model Master. So there's three different models available. And then of course there's the shelf, the, the drawer unit, which is a, a separate piece, a separate product that's available separately and there's a third item which I just released uh, just I think yesterday this is this is actually the uh, the working prototype right here but it is available it's a finished product this is actually an LED light and I'll show you here by plugging it in you can see that it lights up the workspace real nicely so this here is a really cool little kit um, I have my 
prices here somewhere. The uh, the light kit only adds about nine and a half dollars to the price uh, if you order that. It includes all of the MDF parts and the actual LED strip that goes inside here. I do not include the power supply because there's so many different countries with different voltages and different types of uh, plugs. It would just be a nightmare for me to try to uh, stock all those. However, I do stock one for North America. That's 110 volt with the two prongs. And if so, if you want to buy one of those from me, it's 10 bucks. But I know most people have, you know, little brick power supplies laying around their shop all over the place, or they can just pick one up locally. All you need is something that takes your home voltage down to 12 volts DC, and then you can attach it to that. So this is uh, this is a piece that just clips right on. Whether you have the uh, the drawer add-on or not, it doesn't matter. It just clips onto the side. So that's a pretty cool thing. Um, so the prices for everything I already mentioned is 950 for the for the light assembly. Another 10 bucks if you want to get it with the with the power adapter. The uh, the painting station itself is 2250 in kit form, and then the drawer add-on if you want that is another 18 dollars. So if you got everything, including the transformer and all that. You'd be you'd be up around sixty bucks, but you can buy them you know one piece at a time. You can start off with the paint station. You can add the drawer later, add the light kit later if you want, add the transformer, all that. But I urge you to get the painting station if you're the type of person that's working, you know, on a workbench and then in the house and then in the office and somewhere a friend's house or whatever. It's really nice to be able to take this anywhere you go. Um, I've been super happy with it. I'm using it like crazy. Uh, the only negative thing, to be perfectly fair, is the uh, the size of the holes for the paintbrushes back here. On this very first unit that I did, they're all the same size. And when you put a real narrow brush in there, they kind of wobble around. So I've changed that on future versions. You can probably see on this one here, there's a few on each side smaller holes so that's one thing I learned from doing this and I changed it so if you ordered one today you'd get a mix of different paintbrush size hole sizes um, other than that like I said it's my product so I'm going to tell you it's great but it really is it's really great I'm, I'm really happy with it and I'm using it like crazy so there you go that is my review of the Gamecraft miniatures painting station and add-on drawer and add-on light kit you can get all of them at gcmini.com and there you go i hope you find this useful and if you want to get one they're ready to ship thank you very much for watching bye bye